Uh, today for day two, I want to discuss the book that I just recently finished. It is called Women Talking by Miriam Toes. Hopefully I pronounced that right. At first I was kind of like, it's kind of boring. But then reading into it, it is extremely unique in how it is written. So basically it is a man taking the minutes of the meeting of woman in this cult-like environment. Cult-like isn't necessarily the best word, but basically a close-knit Amish-like religious based group of Mennonites specifically in Bolivia. The women in this meeting had been put unconscious and raped by men in their colony and this meeting is them trying to decide if they should stay, fight, or leave. The whole story takes place during the two-day meeting and the man is recording what they're saying because he knows English because he was his family was excommunicated from the colony earlier but he came back to find some closure and kind of a purpose in his own life. By taking the minutes, he means that he's writing down everything that is being said or done during the meeting. The style of this book, there is no dialogue, uh, quotation marks and sets of dialogue. It's all just written in straightforwardly, which is really interesting. And I didn't know how it would serve, but it serves as more of recording what is happening rather than telling a story. She focuses less on climax, suspense, and rather on telling a story of these people based off of a true experience by other women in Bolivia. But what's really empowering about this book specifically is the focus on feminism and women fighting and gaining equality to men in patriarchal society. But unlike other books she's not pushing anything upon people she's these women are having an open discussion about what it means to have faith what it means to love what it means to follow their religious beliefs personal beliefs and what is right for them and for everyone it's easy to make a decision to go against an evil force but the people these abusers these men are part of their families. They're people that they love or thought they did love. What's really interesting is how Miriam puts all this together and says that it's not a simple platter, but here's the best decision, how people can come to conclusive decisions on how best to handle a situation thoughtfully and giving women a right to think for themselves. One of my favorite parts about reading is finding books that speak to larger societal issues in a way that is both digestible, artfully done, so that the message isn't just told to you, but is crafted in a way that makes it understood for even those who may be against more feminist movements. Her book is less radical, per se. And what is really, truly beautiful about reading and literature and everything about it, I know a lot of people don't read anymore, but there's so much wisdom found within the words. I'll share a few quotes for you. Spoilers ahead, so if you wanna read this book, stop now. So August is a man who we find out is actually suicidal. He survives his suicide attempts because a girl that he loved asks him to take the minutes of this meeting. And what's really truly beautiful at the end of this book is he notes, I asked her what good the minutes would do her and the other woman if they were unable to read them. But she may well have asked me instead, what good is it to be alive if you are not in the world? And that's when she told me the story of the squirrel and the rabbit of their secret playing and said that perhaps she hadn't been meant to see them playing yet she had seen them. Maybe there was no reason for the woman to have minutes they couldn't read. The purpose was for me to take them the minutes. Life. I smile. I see the world turning in on itself like waves, but without a sea or shore to contain them. There was no point to the minutes. I have to laugh. Now what can wrap up the idea, the artful scent of 200 pages going by just to say this? How can a short novel encapsulate so much power and depth between feminism, between the purpose of life? And that is why I read, to find those beauties in the collection of fluff. There's so much that every author and every person can put onto the table, and a book is just a way of representing that. Same with artful tastes in films, documentaries. We're telling stories, but is the journalism true? Is the writing genuine? That is why I read. That is why I watch films, to find, to find those specific works of art in a mess of sensationalization. The way she writes this, she is not following and catering to the common thread of a story. She writes originally to give you what she needs to say, not what people will buy. This is a work of literature masterpiece. Give this a read if you're interested. Woman talking. Miriam Toes.
Thank you very much for dating.